Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the TradingView stock screener step by step. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to search, filter, and organize stocks, and even tweak your view like a pro, so you can find those perfect trade opportunities without feeling overwhelmed. Let's dive right in. So first, when you're on the TradingView homepage, take your cursor and hover over the products section. Don't click just yet, just move your mouse over it. This is where TradingView groups a lot of their tools, and the screener is a real gem if you're serious about picking the right assets. When you hover, you'll see the screener's option appear in the dropdown. Now this is where things get interesting. TradingView allows you to screen not only stocks, but also ETFs, bonds, crypto coins, and even currency pairs. For today, let's stick with stocks, so go ahead and click on Stocks. This launches the stock screener, opening up a world of powerful filtering tools. Up at the very top of the screener interface, you'll notice a handy drop-down menu. This little menu is packed with options. Here you have the power to save your own screening setups called screens, so you can come back to them anytime. Maybe you've filtered for high dividend tech stocks. With a couple clicks, you can save that custom view, make a copy if you want to experiment with slightly different criteria, export your work to a spreadsheet for more analysis, or even rename your custom screen so you know exactly what it's for. It's like having a set of personalized lenses to look at the market through, super convenient for tracking your strategies over time. Now for the real magic. At the very top of the screener, you'll spot an All Filters button. This is where you can start slicing and dicing the vast world of stocks according to whatever targets you have in mind. Maybe you're searching for companies with strong profitability, a certain market cap, or within a particular sector. All Filters gives you the full buffet of criteria. Take a few moments to explore here, don't worry if it feels like a lot at first. With so many fields, just start with the ones that are essential for your search and build from there. Speaking of building, notice the different tabs just beneath the filters. Overview, performance, extended hours, valuations, dividends, profitability, and more. Each one offers a different perspective on the stocks in your results. If you're all about customization, there's also a custom option so you can tailor your columns, kind of like arranging the perfect dashboard for your needs. And right on the far right side of these tabs, you'll see a plus button. Click it if you'd like to add more views. Maybe you want to keep an eye on technicals or earnings dates. It's all about making the screener work for you. Over to the left, you'll see you can select Chart View. This is fantastic if you're a visual thinker. It instantly brings up mini charts for all the stocks on your list, helping you spot trends at a glance. Also, if you want to see how markets are doing in different countries, there's an option to toggle the market region, so you're not just limited to local stocks or your home exchange. Finally, if you've tried a bunch of filters or settings and things are feeling a bit cluttered, no worries. You can hit the reset all button at any time and it'll take everything back to the default view just like a fresh slate. Super handy if you ever want to start over or if something seems off. And that's a solid introduction to unlocking the full power of the TradingView stock screener. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I love hearing from you. And of course, subscribe if you want more tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and happy screening.